Hey everybody, happy Friday. Casey here. It's been a while since I've posted a video. Just wanted to share a fun revitalizing bath soak that I have been including in my new Bliss Is It kits. And they've been a hit, so I figured I would share with you something fun to make <clears throat> for gifts or to sell. Um, or if like you're doing um, potentially party favors for bachelorette parties, that sort of thing. Uh, it's just really easy to make and um, bath salts are so good for you. Obviously revitalizing, therapeutic, uh, Himalayan salt is known to reduce inflammation in our bodies, which is a great benefit <clears throat> to those that are potentially suffering from any type of uh, aches and pains, arthritis, uh, any type of inflammation, other ailments. And then uh, Epsom salt, which I also include, contains magnesium and it helps get the body get rid of toxins and also helps with inflammation, reducing swelling, stiffness, and pain. So what I have here is I also have dried lavender buds that I include that smell amazing. I use a coarse Himalayan salt and I also like to use a very fine Himalayan salt just for contrast. And then of course I use Epsom salt and 100% lavender essential oil. These are so easy to make and they're so cute. I found these jars about a year ago when I first started to want to make bath salts. I found them at Moscatel's in downtown Los Angeles. I haven't been able to find um, them there anymore. So I'm probably gonna have to have them custom made for me uh, moving forward when I run out. But this is what it looks like show you there when it's done there's a cute little cork and then also a little spoon to help spoon it into your bath so that's what my current label is and I include them here in a bliss is it spa kit which is a lavender candle these fun matchsticks that are uh, handmade in Lithuania, actually. I like to support other crafters. This this uh, gentleman I found on Etsy and he made these cute purple and white. So they go with the theme of the whole lavender. And then I've got the lavender candle, which I should do a video on how to do these. And we actually have the lavender buds in those. This also smells amazing. So we've got that. I'll just show you quickly how to make it. I just get a big mason jar. This is already pre-mixed because I like to mix it and let it sit for about a week, just so it saturates with the oil. But I'll pour in a little bit more just to kind of show you what I do. So easy. So first I like to kind of layer a little bit. So we're gonna put some buds in there. Put a little bit of the coarse salt on the bottom. And then I just add my mixture that's been sitting for a while. And I really just layer it. Super easy. We'll use a little bit of the premix. For presentation purposes, I'll add as we go a little bit of contrast of each. Add some more of that. And just really just repeat. Oops, I always get a little bit of spillage. Not the cleanest it when I'm doing my crafting. I'm gonna flatten that out. I'm gonna put a little bit more. And why I do this as I go is, like I said, for presentation purposes, you'll start to see layering throughout. This smells heavenly. Oh, there's nothing like. A lavender bath. With all the stress going on in the world, it's nice to have a little escape once in a while. Even if it's something as, as little as taking a bath with something yummy. It's a little thing, right? So finish filling that up. I'm going to top it off with some more buds. And then also some of the coarse salt. 
because the pre-mixture has everything mixed together, but this just looks pretty when you first open it, so you can kind of see what that looks like. And then we cork it up, and I label it, and I use them in my kit. That's super simple. And you can use any type of oils, essentially. Here, I'm doing a lavender mix. I do a lavender eucalyptus one as well, but it's super easy. And I'll also post a link to uh, my Etsy site if anybody's interested in the kit itself. Or if you have any questions, just let me know. But these are fun to make and um, even for yourself. This is a great DIY bath salt soap that you can do. So anyway, everybody have a great day and uh, I hope to uh, post again soon. All right, bye guys.